It's all-out campaign mode for the rival parties courting voters in the home stretch of this week's nationwide local elections. Young people turned up in droves for early voting over the weekend. What will this mean for the outcome? And representatives from eight countries held a rally in Tokyo urging the Japanese government to settle the issue of conscripted sex slaves in World War II. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Monday, June 2nd. I'm Luke Clary. Rival parties were in all-out campaign mode over the weekend, canvassing battleground areas ahead of Wednesday's nationwide local elections. On the trail, Seoul mayoral candidates Chung Mong Jun and Park Won Soon clashed over school meals. Rival camps focused their efforts on campaigning over the weekend, heading into Wednesday's local elections. The ruling Sanuri Party Seoul mayoral candidate Chung Mong Jun and his rival Park Won Soon of the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy went head to head once again over the issue of agri chemicals found in school lunches. Chung said that Park, as the incumbent mayor, was aware that pesticide substances had been found in ingredients supplied by an eco-friendly distribution center run by the Seoul City, but he failed to address the issue. In response, Park countered that Seoul's school meal system is safer than that of any other region in the country and called upon Chung to stop his negative campaigning. Rival camp leaders also campaigned heatedly in Incheon City. Senate party leadership urged support for their Incheon mayoral candidate Yu jong bo they stress that Incheon and the central government must establish solid ties for the Incheon Asian Games to be successful. Leaders of the opposition and PAD also would support for their candidate Song young gil saying he's the right man for the job of reducing the city's debt and leading the Asian Games to success. Senuri candidate for Gyeonggi province governor Nam kyung pil meanwhile vowed support for taxi drivers, while contender Kim jin pil of NPAD stumped in southern areas of the province with pledges of improved home rental policies. Young people in their 20s showed up in force at polling stations on Friday and Saturday for advanced voting. We now turn our attention to how this might affect overall turnout and the outcome of this week's local elections. Advance voting was introduced this Friday and Saturday for the first time in a national election. Results show 16 percent of those in their 20s and under voted on the two days. This is far higher than the average 11.5 percent for all age groups who took part in advance voting. People in their 60s were the next highest in participation at 12.2 percent, followed by those in their 50s at 11.5 percent. But turnout was relatively lower among 30 and 40-something voters at 9.4 and 10 percent, respectively. The National Election Commission attributed the high turnout among young voters to those serving in the military taking active part in the advance voting. In past elections, servicemen were typically absentee voters. Overall, voters under the age of 30 accounted for 25.4 percent, while older voters over the age of 50 accounted for 23.8 percent in the advance voting, a similar ratio. Pundits say the higher turnout of the younger and older voters compared to the middle-aged reflects the intent of younger voters to pass judgment on the Seoul Ferry disaster, while seniors who usually support the ruling party are wary of a potential crisis. The National Election Commission says it uncovered more than 2,600 cases of election law violations in relation to the local elections as of May 31st. The commission reported 309 cases, requested probes into another 72 cases, and issued warnings for an additional some 2,300 cases. Now, this may sound high, but this time the number of irregularities is actually down 25 percent from the number recorded during the 2010 local elections, when it surpassed 3,500 during the same period. The National Election Commission has decided to step up its crackdown on illegal election activities such as slander, false rumors and bribery, which are more likely to take place ahead of the official date of the local elections. 
President Putin has designated new officials in charge of national security, 10 days after the previous figures stepped down. The president tapped Defense Minister Kim Kwan Jin to head her national security team and former head of Joint Chiefs of Staff Han Min Ku to take the helm of the defense ministry. President Park Geun-hye yesterday designated Defense Minister Kim Kwan Jin to act as a national security control tower in a ministerial level post. Park chose the national security chief 10 days after launching a cabinet reshuffle in the wake of the South Ferry disaster. 4년여간 국방부 장관으로 국방을 책임져 왔고 국가 안전 보장 회의와 외교 안보 장관 회의의 구성원으로 안보와 외교 통일 분야 정책 결정에 참여해온 경험을 바탕으로 국가 안보 실장의 직무를 충실히 수행해 나아갈 것으로 기대합니다. Kim Gwanjin graduated from the Korea Military Academy and served as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff before he took the post of defense minister in December 2010. The president first announced her choice for the top vacant national security posts among two security-related positions that were waiting to be filled because the security situation surrounding the Korean Peninsula has been changing rapidly lately, for example, with the recent agreement between North Korea and Japan. Park chose former head of the Joint Chief of Staff Han min Gu as defense minister. Han graduated from the Korean Military Academy and served as Capital Defense Commander, Army Chief of Staff, and Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff. He is also a grandson of famous independence fighter Han Bong-su. Chung Wadi announced that it nominated Han at the recommendation of incumbent Prime Minister Chung Wong wan as a new Prime Minister designate has resigned. The announcement further explained that Kim Kwan Jin will perform his duties as both Defense Minister and National Security Chief until the new Defense Minister is officially appointed. The presidential office says it will announce its choice for the post of National Intelligence Service chief soon after it completes its review of the candidacies. Search efforts for the remaining victims of the ill-fated Sewol Ferry have stalled for nine days due to unfavorable weather conditions and the death of a civilian diver involved in the search. The shutdown will likely continue until Wednesday as desperate families await the resumption of operations and recovery of their loved ones. Weather conditions have worsened at the accident site in the waters off Shindo Island, although the period of the strongest currents is over. Barges and smaller ships deployed to aid the search retreated to nearby harbors and ports as stormy seas were forecast for the site until Wednesday. This is the first time the two barges have been withdrawn from the site simultaneously. The cutting of the sunken ship's stern has been brought to a halt by the death of a civilian diver during search efforts last week. A 4.8 meter by 50 centimeter section has already been cut off and only parts of the window frames remain. Authorities in charge of the disaster management plan to resume the cutting as soon as the weather clears and attempt to enter the fourth floor stern side rooms where the missing victims are most likely to be. However, finding a way to safely and quickly complete the cutting will be crucial to the search efforts given the fluctuating weather at the accident site. Families of the victims who remain missing called on authorities to come up with new ways to find their loved ones during the temporarily halted operations. They also called for measures to ensure the safety of divers involved in the search. For over a week, prosecutors investigating the ferry disaster have made little progress in locating the de facto owner of the Sewol ferry, Yu byung Un. However, they are questioning three more members of a religious sect believed to be led by you for their roles in helping the fugitive businessmen remain at large. Prosecutors are considering seeking more arrest warrants. Eleven members of the religious cult have been arrested already for allegedly helping you escape. Investigators are stepping up their efforts to find you, who is believed to be hiding out near Suncheon, South Jola province. Representatives from eight countries held a rally to urge the Japanese government to settle the issue of its conscription of Asian women as sex slaves for Japanese soldiers during World War II. 
South Korean and international civic groups assisting the victims of Japan's wartime sex servitude led the rally in front of the House of Representatives in Tokyo today. Those participating in the rally were former sex slavery victims, their families and members of civic groups. They came from eight countries including South Korea, China, the Philippines and Indonesia. With the summer heat arriving early this year, a good number of beaches across the country opened up Sunday for the summer season and welcomed vacationers to their sandy shores. The four best-known beaches in the southern port city of Busan, Heonde, Gwangali, Songdo and Songjung all held opening ceremonies on Sunday morning. They will operate until September 9th. But in the months of June and September, swimming will be allowed in only designated parts of the beach areas. On the east coast, Yang Il Day Beach in Pohang, North Gyeongsang Province, will open for business next Monday as beaches nationwide follow suit. It's up to the couple whether to have an extravagant wedding or a more down-to-earth affair. Many couples are opting for a service that matches their own unique style and taste. Here's a closer look. This is a park in Seoul. It's just an ordinary park where people enjoy being outdoors. A car has arrived and a couple comes out. They bring out some interesting things like a trunk, a hat, a bouquet, and even an umbrella. 촬영할 어, 평상시에 입는 옷이랑 그리고 가벼운 소품들 저희가 준비 한번 해봤습니다. They're here to take wedding photos by themselves ahead of their upcoming wedding ceremony. 저희가 자연스럽게 뭐 데이트 하고 있는데 그냥 누군가가 그냥 찍어준 그런 느낌으로 했습니다. They have a photographer, of course, but they themselves made all the preparations from choosing the location and costume to deciding on shooting ideas and concepts. In most wedding photos, the backgrounds and poses look much the same. They are just different models. This couple rejected such boring cookie cutter wedding photos. They want something unique to show off their own styles. Their wedding photos are quite different from your average ordinary ones. <laughs> There are even classes for those who want to prepare their weddings on their own. 내년에 결혼 예정인데요. 웨딩 촬영할 때쓸 헤어 코사지를 만들고 있어요. These women learn how to make corsages for their weddings. Understanding how hard it is to prepare a wedding, the women are ready to share with each other everything they know. 공원이나 이런 데는 국가가 운영하는 데는 상관이 없지만 사설 기능 같은 경우는 돈을 내야 되는 경우도 있고 들어가지 않는다고 하더라도 지하가 정말 밖에 분위기는 다 나서 그 밖에서 만들어도 음 맞아요 맞아요. They exchange invaluable, helpful tips which would not be available anywhere else. 네 제가 좀 찍어놓은 것들 좀 보여드리고 같이 정보 나누면서. 먼저 경험해본 사람으로서 정보 좀 나누고 더 좋은 촬영할 수 있게 도움드리고 있어요. There's even an app that's just like having a wedding planner on your smartphone. The application helps you make wedding preparations on your own, all the way down to the altar. The app serves as a wedding planner. It offers advice about wedding gowns and hairstyles to help the bride make the best picks. 웨딩 관련 준비하다 보면 여러 가지 알아보는 게 번거로움이 많은데 한 군데서 다 비교해 보고 알아볼 수 있으니까 그게 참 편리하고 좋은 거 같아요. The bride and groom visit shops recommended by the app. 이런 스타일로 하고 싶은데. The couple say they're happy to prepare weddings their own way. 기존에 있던 방식대로 하면요 
조금 고를 수 있는 게 한계가 있었는데요 드레스, 메이크업, 촬영 그리고 여러 가지를 저희가 마음에 드는 거를 고를 수 있어서 어, 되게 개성 있고 좋았어요 They're not interested in your average wedding ceremonies. A KBS team went to a special wedding ceremony last week. From flower decorations to the bride's room, the hall is ready for a wedding. But this site is unique. It's the National Library of Korea. People can use it for their wedding ceremonies on weekends, paying just 55 U.S. dollars in rental fees. But there's a condition attached. 어, 또 도서관 결혼식이 작은 결혼식, 검소한 결혼식 취지로 시작한 거라서 하객도 그런 취지에서 200명이 넘으면 은 저도 신청을 받지 않고 있습니다. The couple exchanged books as a wedding gift to each other. They saved all other wedding related costs and spent the savings on a house. 예단 예물이나 그런 폐물은 양가 부모님들이 이해를 해주셔가지고 저희가 굳이 그렇게 허례원식을 할 필요 없을 것 같아서 If it were an ordinary wedding, an efficient would be on the altar to preside over the ceremony. But the couple betrayed their guest expectations again, doing it their own way. The parents come up and give their words of congratulations. They wish the newlyweds a happy, love-filled marriage life. 가표는 생각하면 고맙게 생각해요. 간소하게 한다는 게. 그게 보통 마음 먹고 하는 게 아니거든요. 요즘 젊은 사람들의 입장으로서는 근데 우리 아기가 너무 너무 잘 선택한 것 같아요. They had a small but lovely wedding, not an ostentatious show. 많은 분들이 와주셨으니까 행복하게 살겠습니다. Couples opting for practical but special weddings are driving a change in the commercialized wedding industry. Now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. That's it for this edition of News Today. We'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Have a great day.